Welcome to the program Zero to Hero, a platform where we get to celebrate reputable people in our society and most importantly, share their success stories. And with me on the program today is a very great man, Mr. Theophilus Imanswabo, and he is an entrepreneur. Where will we be knowing more about him on the program? Nice to have you with me on the program, sir. Thank you for having me. Okay, so who is uh, Mr. Theophilus? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank God. Um, uh, gratitude to God Almighty who reigns over the heavens and the earth. Um, I was born in Lagos. I was a boy on the street, I will say to you. I was a boy who was very stubborn growing up, I was stubborn. Um, uh, my primary school, I did that in um, Tsuliri, Itirai Primary School. I finished, I got admission into Federal Government College, wow. Abuja, okay. Kuali. Okay. You know, I came to Kuali, I met children of president, governors, and all of that. My mother, I lost my dad when I was six years old. Wow. My mom single-handedly brought all of us, all my siblings, up, you know, and including my eldest brother, Barrister Kenneth Masuagmo of Benin, of Edo State, and of course, Nigeria, a guy very notable. You know, he was the last man who stepped down for Godwin Obaseki okay. at his election. Okay. You know, um, for a single mother who lost her husband when she was 30 years old, to bring bring us all up us up at that at that at that time, you know, I'm talking 80s and 90s. It, 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 I mean, sorry to got, collect your siblings. How many? Okay, how many we were we were eight oh, originally. Wow. It was wow. just me and my brother, okay. the boys, and six ladies. But we lost one. Oh. You know, it was very pathetic at that at that point. But you know, it it. It was very painful, but we we tried, we strived, we strived so much when we lost our dad, to making sure that we became somebody in life. So are you trying to tell me that it was very challenging for you while growing up? Exactly, it was very challenging because we lost the husband of the home, mm -hmm. the father of the home left us, you know, and. It, I mean, it, it was very, very, very challenging for my mother and for all of us. Let me tell you, I used to hug yam. Really? Yes. I hugged rice on the streets of Lagos. I used to go out to carry cement and carry, um, what do you call it, blocks wow. to make ends meet. Talking about how you started while growing up, what inspired you to be at this point where you are right now? Because you know, it's in our in our in our generation today, people find it difficult to like do something. They believe, oh, everything has to be the government. You understand where I'm coming from. Exactly. So, like, what actually inspired you to get to this point where okay, you are? Okay, um, I will quickly say, I, I I will say again, my father inspired mm -hmm. me. My dad um, was a great guy, very great man. He was uh, the first person that planted the oil plantation in my senatorial district okay. where the Malaysian government came 30 years ago to pick from and now today they are the best in the world you know it was my dad's effort you know my dad used to work with Odu Tola farms in in um, in the in the 70s early 70s and 60s you know he was the manager general manager then you know he did agricultural management you know and he was you know he used to put in us that you must do things right you must do it right you must do what you have to do right so even before his demise i was a little boy i followed every of his advices and of course my senior ones like barista kennedy Masako, and the rest of them told me his values which i took after wow. talking about your entrepreneurship um you said you're an entrepreneur. Exactly. What exactly is the business you do and how did you start this business? Okay. Um, I 
owned a restaurant and a bar mm -hmm. in Guarimba. I did that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, we did so well. We were known. You know, if you go ahead and ask anyone in Guarimba, mm -hmm. Rojo, nobody does not know Rojo. If you have stayed in Guarimba for 20 years. Wow. When we started Rojo, I put so much energy in it, you know, and we did very, very well, tremendously. My drive for education, you know, made me do education, made me set up the school with my wife, my beautiful and amiable wife, Trisha Maswagbon. We delved into that, we did that, we conquered, we did well. And of course, I looked around after I had set up Rojo and um, Rojo was doing fantastically well. I had to also do um, a collabo with my friend, my very good friend, Ken De Lapite. We set up Las Gidi Avala, you know, in Garikitu. You know, well, that was the result ask, of your love for food. For food. I know how to cook a lot. Okay. And sometimes I ask my wife, I say, stay put. Okay. I want to do you dinner. Okay. You know, or Sundays I say to my children, I'm, I'll do you something to Aww. eat. So, you know, That's food, amazing. I love food, I okay. love food, I love food. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the challenges you encountered in, um, in your journey so far? Yeah, um, I would say uh, government inability, government has not been able to support young businesses. Um, giving us a platform to run, there's no power. A lot of accountants here and there pay statutory bills, do so much making little peanuts but you give all the monies away i've had to let most of some of my businesses go but i re-energize them you know and then for instance i've moved into building i build houses real estate i do houses and i sell you know so i have to change businesses do things that would bring money to my pocket and my family you know, so I look, it's very, very imperative for government to support small businesses. So in a situation whereby the government is not able to help everybody in the society, what do you think a youth or an individual can do to get to a point of success? Okay, I will say again, um, I have run many businesses without help from anyone. Okay. I have done, like I said to you, I did... I, I did um, uh, the business restaurant and bar you know I started it from nothing and it grew you know from there the, we went on myself and my wife my beautiful wife we we had to go into education and then when we're doing education you, you know I managed it because she works and everything so I had to go to the school every day I took my children, I, I drove an hour to and fro. That's two hours coming back. So the pain of the business is a concern. You must, you must take that pain. It comes with value. You understand? So I looked at it, I said, oh, I must do this if I want to progress, if I want my children to be happy, my wife wants to be happy. I must pay this price and all of that. So, having said that, um, the Nigerian government also have to support, support, support. The lifeline of every economy, the lifeline of every economy is infusing capital. You must infuse capital in every sector, align those sectors to uh, break even. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So what advice do you have for the youth out there? You know, a lot of youth believe that, oh, we have to do Yahoo or criminal activities to succeed. Meanwhile, you can actually start from point zero and get to the point hero. So what advice do you have for them? Okay, my advice to the youth would be work hard. You must do what is right. No vices smoke in their hand, smoke all sorts that they do. They must drop all of those things. They must be focused, knowing that tomorrow is greater than today in all of this. However, I must also call on the attention of Mr. President that, sir, 
you have to create an enabling environment for the young ones, for jobs to also be created. For jobs to be created, enabling environment has to ensue for investors to come into the country. And once investors come in, of course, jobs will be created. If you have power, jobs will be created. If you have good health services, jobs will be created. So, having said that, young ones, I pray God Almighty gives you the enable, enablement to also do things right. That was quite inspiring. That was an amazing story from Mr. Theophilus. And we hope to hear more stories to inspire our youths out there. It is not easy, but then we need to keep striving. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our social media handles for more on the program. We will be bringing you more on this program. And I am Faith Obasio too, your host on the program Zero to Hero. And on behalf of my producer and the entire crew, I say bye for now. Thank you.